Obviously, I'm very excited um, to be here in Flint. It's it's uh, it's a, a challenging um, experience, but I'm 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 up for it. I'm, I've, I've been through four years of, with the development program um, and with my playing experience, and now understanding how hard you got to work to be a head coach and to develop athletes at this age. Um, I'm confident that we're in good hands, and, and I'm also going to only be as good as the, as the assistants that we hire. Um, those guys are going to fit into that team structure just like um, Costa and, and Terry and, and Rolf and, and it's, it's like a trickle down effect so we're, we're still looking for, for somebody and um, the kids are going to be excited that knowing that we're going to work hard for them and, and, and get them to where they, where they want. I'm, I'm familiar with um, a few of the players I've, I've coached, uh, Sonny Milano who's a first rounder who is right now in um, Springfield. Um, with the minor leagues, and I, we don't know what his future is going to be. Um, Sonny's a, a very talented hockey player. Um, Alex Andolkovich is the best goalie in the OHL. That is a great place to start. Um, and then Alex Peters being a um, being hurt all year, being a second, uh, third rounder for, for Dallas, he's going to be a big part of that team next year. And he was obviously sorely missed with Plymouth last year, missing all those games. Um, there are a few other kids. I, I was only able to watch them two times, um, so I will be doing uh, my due diligence and, and talking to uh, people involved in the organization, and we will start trying to orchestrate and put together a team that is going to come into this arena and, and play hard and play fast and play physical and disciplined that gives these uh, fans and, and this community something to be proud of.